Internet of Things IoT. What is IoT? What are its advantages, disadvantages and all about IoT I am going to discuss in this video. Hi everyone this is Tilak welcome to my channel. Regarding IoT I am going to describe in this video like everyone can easily understand. First what is IoT? You can see the meaning of IoT on the screen which is available in the Google which is saying that we can connect all our physical devices which is embedded with electronic software or sensors and having the network connectivity that can be connected together and we can make sure that the connectivity is happening between the devices and exchange the data. We can also say that every device which is having the network access that means which is having a valid IP address is called as an IoT device. Next internet plays a major role in IoT because without internet there is no IoT. So on the screen we can clearly say India is in second position in the world having 462 millions of users. In this graph we can see only the India statistics regarding the internet. We are having 462 million users of internet in India where I have already showed you in the previous slide and coming to the next one is active internet users on mobiles is 442 as I said you out of 462 we are having 442 million of users on mobile devices who are very actively using the internet in India and coming to the other one here active social media users is 191 million and active mobile social media users is 167 considering all these statistics we can clearly say that there is a lot of scope for IOT in future now I'll tell you how these IOT devices will work and how these are useful for us and here anything can be connected will be connected I'm just giving you two example to describe how this IOT technology work so in the first example it was saying that if you're on the way to your meeting your calendar will be accessed by your car and your map will show you the best route for the destination if in case that route is also busy with the traffic then what this device does is it will just leave a message or else drop a mail to your destination person saying that you will be late and the next example is generally we use alarm to get notification to wake up in the morning and if in the same case whenever you wake up you also want your coffee to get ready then here we can also use our IOT technology and we can also adjust in such a way that our coffee will be ready. Here we have another important concept which is smart home. So what is smart home? Here we have a different appliances in the home when we look in it. So using our mobile or else a smartphone we can simply connect every device using the iot technology and using our ipad or else a smartphone we can control each and every device which is connected with our iot technology here i'm going a step inside the home when we can see everything the devices connected to the internet we have other home appliances also connected to the internet using the iot technology we have our survey lines cameras and the washing machine and the TV freezer everything was connected to the internet so I will give you a real example describing the present technology and the future IOT if in case you are out of your premises and there is something happening in your home your surveillance camera will be automatically capturing everything and after the issue if you look at the camera you can find everything and then you will be taking some action whereas when we compare to our future IoT, if there is any disturbance when you are not in your premises, it will automatically notify our smartphone saying that there is some disturbance inside our home. Then we need to take some right decision to check from our remote location whether what is the incident happening and if in case the doors was not locked, you can remotely lock that from your remote location. In this way, our future IoT will help us. The examples which I am saying is very few, there is lots of things to explore on IoT. For experiencing this IoT, we need to purchase an additional device but I am sure that is not a big deal. In the same smart home concept, if I go into the house, 
here I can see a lots of devices which are indicating with the green color indication which means those devices can be also operated using the IOT where I mean to say is like in your smartphone you can operate those devices you can either switch it on or else off and you can also adjust according to their appliances features so in this way we can make it simple using IOT and next you can see the graph the growth of internet of things it is just showing the year to year how many devices are being added to the IOT and what is the development and you can see by 2020 we can expect around 50.1 billion of IOT devices and in the next graph growth of IOT here what you should understand is year to year we can see many number of devices are being added which helps the IOT you can also see the analyst firm Gartner says by 2020 there will be over 50 billion connected devices for IOT and even it can also be over 100 billion. Now advantages of IOT you can just think about the examples which I have given earlier here it reduces cost, improve efficiency, create innovative products, new revenue streams, efficient and saves time, communication. You can also say that we can have a better quality of life. These are all the advantages of IoT. Disadvantages of IoT. First one is compatibility. You should choose a right model which is compatible or else you will have this issue. Second one is employment. The physical workers get reduced. And the third one is technology takes control of life. Yes, everything is get done by the technology itself. The human involvement will be reduced. And the final one is privacy and security, which is very important in this IoT. Because if a hacker tries to access your data and if he can access it, it is a security issue. So before choosing the product, choose for the best product, which is giving you the best security features where nobody can hack into that. So that's all for this video, Internet of Things IoT. The future of IoT is IOE, Internet of Everything. In my next video, I'll tell you what is IOE and I'll be doing videos related to tech and ethical hacking tutorials. Please subscribe to my channel for getting notifications of my video tutorials. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Tilak signing off.